Hey, what's up everyone? In this short video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you three super actionable ways that you can use Google custom search engines to build quality links to your website. Now, the first tactic we're gonna look at is how to build a fully searchable database of websites that have already linked to you in the past so that you can continually reach out to them over and over again and build links to your new content pretty much on demand. So let's just jump right in. All right, so we're going to be using the Ahrefs backlink report uh, to extract all of the domains uh, linking to yours. So uh, pretty simple, just drop in your domain here in the site explorer, then navigate to the backlinks report. And it's gonna bring you to this page and you're gonna see, you know, you'll if you've got a lot of links to your site, there's a lot of data here to work with. So to simplify this a little bit, we'll just set the following filters. We'll do one link per domain uh, we'll set the link type to do follow. Uh, we'll also set, actually, no, let's just leave this at all. Um, and then we'll come down and we'll select WordPress. And then I'm going to select English, but based on where you're located or who your primary audience is, uh, you can select that language there. And this is going to filter down that list of websites so that you're left with a list. Um, you know, you're going to filter out a lot of the junk and make sure that most of the remaining links are actually natural editorial links from blogs that can quickly go in and update their site and add a link to yours um, at the end. So once we've got these filters set up, we'll just click export and then you just want to click full export and then start that up and then Ahrefs will, you know, in this case probably only take a few seconds, but if you've got a really large link profile, it might take a few minutes. So once that's done, we will click download and it'll give you the spreadsheet with all the link data uh, for your website. Um, it'll give you, you know, a bunch of different metrics, but for now, we will just click and save this one as a, uh, we'll, we'll save it as a CSV file for now. Okay, so once that's complete, uh, just save it somewhere on your desktop so you can find it quickly. Click save, uh, I've already saved mine, so I'll just click yes. Uh, and then we have our backlink data, then create a copy of this Google Sheet. Again, the link is below the video. Uh, it's got a few tabs in it that we're going to be using to create our custom search engine. Uh, there's a few formulas, some regular expressions that we'll use to, uh, you know, that you can use to populate the data automatically for you, save some time. So once you are, you've made a copy of the sheet, click in cell A1 right here, and then come in and click import and then upload and then choose where you, the file that you just exported from Ahrefs. Click open. And the important thing here when you're uploading is you want to copy these settings. So in the import action, select append rows to current sheet, uh, separate character, detect automatically, and then convert text to numbers and dates, yes. And then just click export. And then this will just take a couple seconds and then it'll populate all of this link data into, into this first tab. Now, if you click into the next one, you can see here that it's pulled in just the domain without the www.https or anything like that. And then in the more websites, you can see it's done it for all of the websites that I extracted um, from Ahrefs. And this just really helps with the next step in the process. Okay, so once you've got all the link data, you want to come up, go to um, cse.google.com and you want to create a custom search engine. So click the add button here. Uh, you'll come back over into the sheet into this first website in the second tab here. And we'll just copy that real quickly, come in. This is the first site that we want to search across and then come down give it a name for this. I've already created a bunch, so I'm just going to call this one test for now, but I'll say click on create here and then I'll just come back in. And so right now we just have one domain in here to search across. That doesn't really do us a lot of good or is going to give us much results. So we want to click add sites to search here and then you want to click this include sites in bulk tab. And then it's going to leave you with this box. So what you'll then do is you will come back over to the spreadsheet and you will then copy all of the remaining domains in here into your custom search engine. So click paste and give it a second. And then there they all are. Include all pages on these sites. Click save. And then that will build out your custom search engine. So I've got 353 now. I have a fully searchable database of only those websites who love and have linked to my content in the past. So yeah, whenever I publish a new piece of content, I want to build links to it. I can quickly find people who've already linked to me and then who have also written about a topic 
um, related to, to the one I'm trying to promote in the past. So for example, let's just say I really w quickly wanted to find some link opportunities for my on-page SEO checklist. I would come over and I would search across all of my people who've linked to my website in the past and I would type keywords related to the topic of that article. So on-page SEO, for example, um, and then I would scroll down and it would start giving me websites that have written about that topic before. So I would then, um, you know, as I find prospects, I would add them into my sheet. I would gather their website, their first name, email. I, was f I would flag them as targets and then, you know, include their link to their article and the topic that uh, they wrote about. And I would use one of, one of the scripts listed below this video. Now, I've, I've, I've been experimenting with this strategy just over the last few weeks and I've managed to build dozens of quality links all right, so the next tactic we're going to use is mining roundups for link opportunities. Now, as you know, expert roundups are a great vehicle to generate a ton of social engagement, but practically no one leverages them for link building. But to illustrate this tactic, I am going to use my SEO tools roundup as an example. The post has already been shared uh, close to 11,000 times and ranks number four for its target keyword, uh, best SEO tools. So the process for this is going to look pretty similar to the first tactic. So first you're going to grab the domains of all of the contributed people who contributed to the, uh, to the expert roundup, and then you're going to add them into a new custom search engine, just like you did in, in the first step. So looking here at my example, um, well, going back here, you can see that, you know, I had all of the information from the people who contributed. So I just copied the website URLs here. And then I went in and I created a new custom search engine. You can see I've already created one here. Uh, it's best SEO tools. And then in it, I've got over 130 websites that I can search across. So since this was an article about SEO tools, um, I can start searching for keywords related to uh, things like SEO tools across my uh, database of sites uh, for the people who contributed. Uh, I can go a little broader too, uh, you know, SEO tools, um, SEO, I can also search for individual tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs or Accuranker, Majestic SEO, any tools that ranked highly in the roundup that uh, contributors have written about in the past, I can then reach out and ask them to uh, link out to the roundup because it uh, supports what they already said in their own piece of content. Basically though, the audience is going to be much more likely to link out to a piece of content that they've been featured in because not only does it give them more exposure, it also uh, helps position them more as an expert. And just real quickly here, you can see here's the SEO tools uh, spreadsheet that I use to promote the article. Uh, and you can see I've got, like before, domain, first name, email, all of the ones flagged who actually have written about a topic related to the SEO tools post. And then I just include a link to the article as well as the angle, which is just helps me customize the outreach a little bit more where I can reach out to these people uh, and, and say, you know, whether or not they just talked about SEO tools, whether they mentioned a specific tool, and it, and it just makes the outreach that much more targeted. But you'll see it in the scripts below the video. Now, this strategy works so well. I think I reached out to about 52 people um, who were actually talked about the topics related to the Roundup on their own sites and I was able to land eight links. So that's an insane conversion rate on uh, link outreach. And, you know, I'll be continuing to scale that with any roundups I do in the future. Okay, so jumping into the third and final tactic here, we're gonna turn comments into backlinks. Now, the premise here is, you know, people who've commented on your content are very engaged and they're probably fans of your work. Uh, if they liked your content enough to leave a comment on it, uh, they might link to it too, if it's a right fit. I'm going to use my blog promotion guide as an example for this strategy. Uh, as you can see, the post being shared almost 5,000 times, but more importantly, it has over 220 people commenting on it. So we want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the post. And as with most sites, especially on WordPress, you, you know, you're going to have, in order to comment on a site, people are going to have to enter their name, their website, and their email. So this is gold, uh, if that's the case. So what you want to do in the next step here is you want to first install this free Chrome extension. It's called Scraper, uh, link included below this video. And then what you'll do is once you navigate to the comments section, you just right click on 
the person who's commented name and then go scrape similar. And what this will do is it'll immediately pull the name and URL of the website for every single person who has commented uh, on your blog post. Then you will export the, this to a Google Doc. I've already done it, so I won't do it for this example, but you just export it to a Google Doc and then you'll grab those URLs and you'll, again, just build another custom search engine in here. You can see I have already done it. So comments on my blog promotion guide and then I've got 100 websites in here. And then now since uh, it's related to uh, promoting your blog, I'll just come in and you know I'll just search for keywords that are related to promoting your blog, like any blogging, anything that might be somewhat related to that post, I'll search keywords and then I'll come in and everyone who's in this sheet, I will just start uh, putting an X next to anyone who's written a topic related, I'll record their URL and then that will allow me greater personalization in my outreach. And once I've flagged all of them, uh, then I can just easily filter the results and then I'm just left with a short list of people who have written anything related to the article that they commented on on my website. Now finally, I want to show you real quickly how I scale my outreach. Rather than sending one email one by one or subscribing to an expensive software like Buzzstream to run this, you can install the GMAS Chrome extension. Again, I'll include the link below this video. Uh, and then what you do is when you're in your Gmail account here, uh, it, you just click this little red book icon. And what it will do is it will automatically sync with all of your Google Sheets. So in this case, if I want to talk about, you know, if I'm talking about my commenters on my blog promo, I'll just select that and then I will connect to it and it'll automatically pull in all of the uh, URLs, uh, emails, sorry, from that spreadsheet. And then I can enter in my template and then add any custom fields uh, from my Google Sheet. And then, uh, you know, I can set automatic follow-ups or however I want to do it. But I think it's only like $9 a month for this tool. Uh, I use it to scale a lot of my personal outreach. So great tool if you want to you know, quickly scale these strategies up.